He was the sexy geek player, I guess you would say, on The O.C., a great show. He appeared in 95 episodes. I'm talking about Adam Brody, who joins us right now. He's part of a new series coming to Direct TV called Billy and Billy, and tell us about it. Um, yeah, I, I, I played play Billy, one of the two said Billys, and um, stepbrother and stepsister, uh, attracted to each other, and... Um, so, what are they going to do with that information is the question. Um, they, they slowly fall in uh, love and, and have to decide um, if they're up to the task of sort of wearing that relationship on their sleeve and being open about that and, and, and um, uh, surviving the ridicule that comes with that. Well, Adam, I can totally see why you would fall in love with your co-host, Lisa Joyce. She's wonderful. She is wonderful. I think she's kind of the find of the series. I mean, and not to, I mean, listen, she's done so much great work, so many cool independents and, you know, been on a lot of TV shows and done a lot of great plays. But still, regardless, this was the first time I had seen her and I was blown away and I, um, I'm, I'm a fan for life. So um, I think I think anyone who watches it will be very, very happy to spend time with her. Well, I'm excited for this series coming to the Direct TV, but I've got to ask about the movie. It did so well in the box office. Think like a man, too. What was it like being in the movies? Um, that well, that I mean, you know, that was an interesting. That was an interesting one. Uh, I was in Las Vegas off and on for a couple months, which is, um, you know, I didn't get into too much. I, I didn't get up to too much trouble, but you certainly could. Um, it's an interesting place to spend a lot of time. Uh, uh, and that was kind of a free for all. That was a lot of people, a lot of a lot of guys in every scene. So uh, that was a nutty experience, but it, it's a very good group. It's a good group of people. So uh, pleasant. Well, Adam, I certainly hope you do more on the silver screen. You're such a talented actor, and given your tremendous success in Hollywood, what have you learned on your journey that has served you well that you can share with us? I don't know. I mean, I I feel that. I mean, I don't know, it's a little thing, but I think I haven't had to compromise myself, really. And I don't mean artistically, I mean, I haven't, I, I, I've, I mean morally. I mean, I feel like uh, no judgment on whether I'm a good person or not a great person, but I will say I don't think Hollywood's impacted that. I actually can honestly say I think I'm, even though I've, I've, I'm wiser, I think char you know, character-wise, I'm the same person that walked into this business at 19 as I am at 35. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a corrosive place. So, uh, you know, parents, let your kids go to Hollywood. Well, I'm certainly glad your parents let you go to Hollywood because we've enjoyed your characters. You play so well. Congratulations and uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much.